A circuit right here, we know the current I. This is 0 0.88 amps. And we know uh, this, this, and we're trying to find this R, but we know the total current is two amps, right? And so if we know the total current is two amps, let's think this through. Remember in a parallel circuit, the voltage is consistent throughout. That's the most important thing to understand. So we can say the V total is equal to the I times the R. But we know one current and one resistance. So the total voltage would just be um, 0 0.88 times 10, which is just 8.8 .8 volts. But that's gonna be true in each branch. So you're gonna have 8.8 .8 volts going through each system, if that makes sense, right? And so for our second uh, ball game here, we've got 15 ohms, right? So for number two, then I can do the same thing. I know the voltage there. I know the voltage equals IR. I'm gonna solve for I now. My voltage is 8.8 .8 equals I, because I know the um, homage there, is that a word, is 15, and I can then solve for I2. All right, I know I1 is 0.88. I can solve for I2, and we know the total amperage. So I total in a parallel circuit is I1 plus I2 plus I3. I have an extra plus there. Um, and we know that this is 2.0, and you want to solve for I3. Once you know I3, you know the voltage equals IR. The I3, you're going to plug in here, and the voltage is... 8.8.